Hi again, this is a new video uh, showing how to model, to make Bing modeling, Bing models in FreeCAD. Um, this is the 11th video and we're going to model the terrain now. And you see that we have pretty accurate drawings showing the terrain profile here. Uh, what I'm going to do is have a look on on Google Maps um, to see how this looks like um, in real life. Uh, fortunately, this pavilion is a well-known building. It's in a well-known city, so we have quite cool 3D data in Google Maps. And you see, well, it's pretty, it's not very natural terrain there. Only behind there is some natural ground. Uh, this is interesting building. <laughs> uh, but on the front is just a uh, paved road and sidewalk. Uh, so it's basically flat areas. Uh, so this is pretty, we could probably easily model this only with, with flat shapes actually because there is no need for some very organic terrain but maybe we can find something more interesting so as you probably know uh, all big cities now begin to have quite accurate GIS data which is basically geometrical um, uh, or um, geodata uh, and most big cities nowadays have a portal where they um, have this um, this geodata available for people to download and uh, it was quite easy to find the Barcelona's one here and most of the big cities have exactly quite the same system where you have this map and you can navigate and you can download uh, GIS data. Um, so, yeah, I'm beginning to get quite used to <laughs> where this Barcelona pavilion is, so it's quite easy for me to find it. Um, so here it is, and let's see what we have here. Um, yeah, this won't help as much. Uh, let's see, usually you have these layers that you can turn on and off. Unfortunately, I don't speak Catalan, but it's quite more or less understandable. Probably you can, yeah, you could switch the language, but let's keep it the way it is made to. Um, I would like to see the level curves. Should be this. No difference. They are on already, you can see in the lower part that there are some curves, terrain curves already. So I believe there aren't any here available exactly for that region, which would make sense because you have, what, one meter or two. Oh cool, they like offer a lot of interesting formats to download. Yeah, but I don't think this will uh, help us in this case because we will go for something much simpler. So I think I'm gonna simply use these lines here and model some thing just here on, on with these lines and no need to go after some very complex GIS data or something just for a little bit of terrain. These profiles on the elevations here will be just what we need actually. So I'm thinking I'm gonna model um, a surface that is made of four border curves. And these border curves I'm gonna draw them right now and they will connect these these four profile lines that I have in my elevations. And this won't be 
the most correct thing, but I think it will look nice and it will be like pretty accurate enough. So now I'm placing my uh, my working plane on the different elevations and drawing on each one um, a polyline that connects. So I will at the end I will have four polylines and we will be able to create a surface between those four polylines. And yeah, that's of course not the most accurate thing because um, Probably uh, I'm, I, I had placed these uh, these elevations at a totally arbitrary position. Um, so where I'm placing these profiles is not necessarily the place where they were meant to be. But I think th this will be pretty accurate enough for, for our case. Uh, and it will be a good... It would give us a good, good terrain surface to work with. Okay, that's done now. As always, when you just did some annoying work and going to do some... Uh so now I'm switching to the surface workbench. And I'm going to create a surface from... Oh, yes, uh, we have to do something before that. Because our polylines are made of several edges. And um, the surface tool wants one edge for each um, border. So what I'm going... what I'm doing now is converting my polylines to splines because a spline even if it has like several control points is actually one edge uh, while the wire is several edges um, you see the wires are still there just hiding them and now I have these four B splines curves and each one is actually one edge so the, the surface tool works now. And you just need to add the four edges. Pretty simple. And that's it. And we have a perfectly interpolated surface between them. And we can hide our curves. And it looks pretty good. Now we'll need to make a hole in it for our building. So basically what I'm going to do now is draw um, the shape our our building. So we will use this shape to 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 hold through the to our our terrain. So for that I'm just using the, the base plan because it will be easier to snap to. And let's draw a contour of what should be what should become a hole in our... Uh, I see now that I forgot a window here. <laughs> in the next video we'll add it. So I'm just making a contour here. Thinking what needs to be become a hole in, in our terrain.
that's it now we have this flat shape and the surface so in order to subtract um, since they are not aligned um, I'm gonna create a solid shape from this face this face we, we drew now and I'm going to using uh, going to use the, the structure tool because it's easy I like it and it's easier to make uh, extrusions with it so perfect we have a shape that can now be subtracted as always before any complex boolean operation is good idea to yes because one is not solid so it can and you see it worked perfectly <coughs> so this is all construction geometry that we did I'm gonna put this in a separate group who knows I might need it again at some point this catch shape uh, is we'll just leave it there for now and I'm creating this group for all this construction geometry that um, we are not needing anymore but who knows we could need it in the future so it's better to keep them there instead of deleting them we just turn this off and forget about it renaming this because afterwards I'm not sure that this flat uh, surface is really what we will need maybe we will need a solid shape or I don't know but for for now we just leave it like that because that's what we need we need just the surfaces this surface is we can extrude it afterwards we can do a lot of other things afterwards so I think this looks very good so that's it for this one